exalt you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for such a grace that you've given to us, Lord. And Father, this morning, we pray for your anointing, Father, to rest upon each and every one of us. You are anointing King of glory to cover this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord, we shall worship you in spirit and in truth for your own glory. We bless you and we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody amen. say amen. 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 Somebody say amen. amen. I want us just to surrender unto the Lord this morning because the Lord has given us the grace to be here. I want us just to release ourselves to the Lord that the Lord shall be able to touch our life this day that our prayer, our lives shall not remain the same again because of what the Lord shall have done in our lives. Let us just lift up our hands and say, I surrender unto you, Lord Jesus. Ooh.
your glory, Jesus.
Jesus, we are so grateful, my Father, as we stand before your presence this morning. We thanksgiving in our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, my Father, for giving us this great day in the name of Jesus. We dedicate this day unto you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus and command the blessings of this morning. We declare the blessings, my Father, upon this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare the blessings of favor, the blessings of visitation, the blessings of joy, the blessings of happiness in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare, my Father, may you take preeminence this morning. Glorify yourself in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and to Today, oh God, as we lift up our praises unto you and our worship, oh God, let your blessing rain upon us, King of glory. As the rain has been raining upon us physically, may you rain the rain of your Holy Spirit upon us this morning, in this day, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for each and every one of us who have come. Thank you for those who are on the way coming, oh God. May you hasten their footsteps and may you bless us together. In the name of Jesus, as you gather your people from the highways and the byways, from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north. And as far as your people are coming this morning, oh God, may you charge your angels to gather the hairs of salvation from all over and gather them here in Deliverance Church. Kitengela, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for those who are joining us online from all over Kenya, Africa, and the world at large. We pray for your blessing and your favor upon them also in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and we worship you this morning. We give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all of us, can we shout a big amen? Let's give the Lord a mighty hand. Let's celebrate the Lord this morning. Let's celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. And for those who are watching us online, we say karibu sana. From those who are here in Deliverance Church, can we welcome those who are joining us online? Let's, let's welcome them. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God we are still on the month of April, the month of resurrection. And this morning, I want us to open into our Bibles in the book of Psalms 100. And I'd like us to read from verses 1. From verses 1, Psalms 100. We are reading from, the, from verses 1. Can we go together? The Bible says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you land. This morning, we have come. To our God. You have come to make a joyful uh, sound to our God and our King. And the verses to the Bible says, Serve the Lord. Can we go? Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with his singing. And verses 3. 
know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And verses 4, enter his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Somebody shout a big amen. This morning we have come to the house of our God. And the Bible commands us to enter his gate and his court with thanksgiving and praise. This morning, I want us to declare my heavenly father. My heavenly in father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I enter your court with thanksgiving. I enter your court with and thanksgiving. And into your gate. And into your gate. With praise. With praise. I come bodily. I come bodily. Before you. Before you. Before the throne of your grace. Before the throne of your grace. To obtain mercy. To obtain mercy. And find the grace. And find grace. To help me. To help me. In this month, in this, month, in this, week, in this week, in the name of Jesus, the name of can Jesus. you lift up your voice oh, as a beginner to give thanks to our God and praise to his holy name as we enter his court with thanksgiving and enter his court gates with praise in our, as we come boldly before his throne of grace with the mercy that you may find grace in the house of God that you may have find grace to help us in all the times that we have even in times of need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Bless our God, bless his holy name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare this morning, you are worthy, our God. You are worthy to receive our, our praise, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, I worship you, my God, in the name of Jesus. It's you alone, oh God, who is worthy to receive our praises, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we serve to honor you. We serve you, sir. We choose to serve you. We choose to gather to be at your service this morning in the name of Jesus. Everything of God that has been into our life, let everything that has been raise you, oh God, our King, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I praise you because you are our almighty God. I praise you, Lord, because you are our God and our King. I praise you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, our God. I praise you, our Father. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Holy Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory and honor. We give you the praises of our God. We worship you this morning. In the name of the there is no other one like you. You are God and our King. You are worthy to receive our praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can I hear somebody shout a big amen? As we approach the courtroom of God this morning, and as we pray that you may find grace and mercy, I pray this morning, according to the book of Lamentation chapter 3 and verses 21, 22, and 23, just give us the scriptures this morning, because the Bible says, as we enter his courts with thanksgiving, this morning we want to find grace and mercy before the Lord that you'll be able to carry us through even in times of difficulty. And that's where the Bible says, this I recall in my mind and therefore I hope, verses 22, can we go together? Through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because of his compassion fails not. They are new every morning. 
Great is your faithfulness. I want you to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning. This morning. I thank you. I thank you. For your mercies. For your mercies. Upon my life. Upon my life. Upon my family. Upon my family. Every morning. Every morning. And every day. And every day. And every man. And every man. In the name of Jesus. Name of lift Jesus. up your voices and begin to thank God. Because the Bible says his mercies are new every morning. And great is his faithfulness. Thank God for his mercies upon your life, upon your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as the Bible says, you are not consumed because of the mercies of God. I declare this morning, may we find mercy and grace from his throne, from his God. In the mighty name of Jesus, May your mercy, so oh God, be sufficient upon us this morning, and in this week, and in this month, and in this year, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your name, oh God, we give you glory and honor, we give you the praise as mighty one of Israel, in the name of Jesus Christ, to preeminence, oh God, glorify yourself, and the love of second we bless your name of God. We give you glory and honor. We give you all the praise, mighty one of God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The second prayer I want us to pray. I want us to ask God to cleanse us and wash us up with the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. You know, there are times when we stand before God. There are things that devil may come and accuse us before God. You know, the book of Zechariah chapter 3 verses 1 and f- uh, to 4. Zechariah chapter 3 verses 1 to 4. The Bible says, the book of Zechariah chapter 3. Can we go together then? Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing as his right hand to oppose him. To do what? To do what? You know the devil is always standing to oppose you. That's why in the book of Peter, the Bible says, he is, a, he is roaring like a lion, looking for who to devour. The devil that does not rest day and night, he is standing to oppose you. He is standing to devour you. But today, in the name of Jesus, as you pray, we declare he shall be defeated in Jesus' name. Verses 2, the Bible says, let's go. And the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebukes you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you. Is this not a, a, a brand packed from the fire? I pray today, in the name of Jesus, you shall be plucked from fire in Jesus' name. I'm not hearing you. Amen. You shall be plucked from fire in Jesus' name. Amen. You are too hot for the devil to handle you. Amen. Your family is too hot for the devil to handle you. Yes. I pray that God will rebuke Satan out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. In verse 3, the Bible says, let's go. Now, and now Joshua was clothed with 50 garments and was standing before the angel. And verse 4. Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the fifth garment from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. I want you to declare, My Father, my God, my Father, my in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus every filthiness, every filthiness, every fifth garment, every fifth in, garment my life, in my life, I declare, 
declare, declare let it be removed, let it be in, removed. in my life in, my life. in the name of Jesus in the name of and Jesus. every iniquity and every, iniquity. And every sin and every in, sin. My in my life be removed be washed away, be washed away by the blood of Jesus blood lift of up Jesus. your voices oh and ask God, God this morning he, he is a refiner he is a cleanser he is the one who has released the blood of Jesus to wash us and to cleanse us from every filthiness, from every iniquity may the Lord this morning minister to us in the name of Jesus may he cleanse us from every filthiness, from every iniquity in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yandorobo se karaba yandorobo. Re karaba yandorobo se karaba. Yandorobo se karaba yandorobo. Oh God the mighty, may you wash me, oh God. May you cleanse me this morning. From every filthy garment, from every iniquity in my life. May you remove every iniquity. May you remove every sin. May you wash me this morning with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And may you make to me, oh God, what you want me to be before you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the accuser of the brethren will not find the blessing here. We not find the blessed to accuse my life, to accuse me, to accuse me before you, to accuse me before you are thrown, to accuse me before you are cursed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wash me and cleanse me by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Wash me and cleanse me by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Wash us and cleanse us this morning with the blood of your son Jesus Christ. With the holy nothing of God. With the holy nothing of God. Let every sin be washed. Let the every fifty come in us be washed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every iniquity be removed. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name of God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let the Lord this morning, because he's the one who is saying, I will pluck you as a brand from fire. I pray that the Lord will take away the filthiness in us in the name of Jesus. And he shall remove iniquity and every sin from us. And he will clothe us with the, the rich robes in the name of Jesus. As the book of Isaiah 55 and verses 10 and 11 says, I pray that that shall be our portion this morning. The Bible says, can we read together? As the rain comes down, and, and the, the snow from heaven, heaven and do not return there, there but, but water the earth and make it bring forth bad, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word that goes forth from my mouth, he shall not return to me void, but he shall accomplish what I please, and he shall prosper in the things which I send. I pray this morning. As the rain comes down physically upon the world, may the rain of the Holy Spirit come down upon us in the name of Jesus. And may the word of the Lord be accomplished to us in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. We as your people this morning, we, as your people may, this you morning. Feel us, may you feel us with, with your Holy Spirit. And your power, and your power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Let, let, the rain, let the rain, let the rain, let the rain of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit come down upon us down and upon fill us, us and to us overflowing us with, your power, with your power and your fire, and your fire in the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your voices oh and God, ask the Lord this morning to rain the rain of the Holy Spirit upon us. I 
yes indeed in the day of Pentecost and the Bible says in the day of Pentecost he let he released the Holy Spirit to come down upon each and every one in the name of Jesus and I pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Ghost fire of God will fall upon us fire of God upon us upon us this morning as it was the day of Pentecost where you release the fire of the Holy Ghost to come and rest it upon each and every one of them that were in the upper room this morning oh God we are in your sanctuary we are in your altar we have come in one accord the God to worship you to give you all the glory and the honor and all the praises may you shower the rains of the Holy Spirit upon us and feed us oh God to overflow with your power and your fire in the name of Jesus we bless your name and God this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let your reign, my Father, reign of the Holy Spirit, reign upon our lives. Let Let your power reign Let the fire Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit reign. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout a big amen. Amen. I want you to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. Plug me. Grant me. Plug me. Do you know what is called a plug? Plug nile ya moto. Bwana asifiwe. So I pray this morning that God will plug you to the divine grace of the Holy Spirit. Praise Amen. the name of the Amen. Lord. That the fire of God will flow through you. Amen. The power of God will flow through you. The healing of the Lord will flow through you. The favor of God will flow through you. Because the moment you are plugged into the fire, into the grid of the Holy Spirit, you have no choice but to let the Lord to minister to you in Jesus' name. I want you to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. This morning. This morning. Plug me. Plug me. To your divine power grid. To your divine power grid. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Can Jesus. you tell the Lord to plug you this God, morning? This morning. In I the name of Jesus. Plug me to plug you this morning. The in the name of Jesus, I pray. That the fire of God. The, the power of the God will flow Jesus. through you this morning. Lord, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And where I have disconnected myself from the greed of the Holy Spirit, I reconnect myself in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me, O oh God, to the greed of your Holy Spirit, to your power greed. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You know, sometimes some of us, we could have unplugged ourselves. The way you go and just plug power off from your house, and you forget and you come, and you start to wonder where is there. Kwa nini nyumba hakuna stima? Na wewe ndi oli unplug. Si tuwambe yombi, tuwambie buwana, asubuya leo. Where I have plugged myself, myself, because of sin, because of things that I do that are not worth it before the Lord. Because we are the ones who sometimes mess up ourselves. Because you want to do things the way you want. You, because you always have another better option. Let me tell you, you as a child of God, you have no any other option in your life. You have only one option, which is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, who died on the cross because of our sins. I pray this morning, wherever you have unplugged yourself, return yourself to the power grid of the Holy Spirit. 
Want us to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my in God. The in the name of this Jesus. This morning. This morning. I plug myself. I plug myself. Back to the divine power. Back to the divine power. To the divine power greed. To the divine power of the greed. Holy Spirit. Of the Holy that Spirit. That I had unplugged myself. That I had unplugged myself. Somebody lift up your voice and Jesus. begin to my plug God, back yourself to the power Jesus. greed of the Holy Spirit. Is it through and from? Forgiveness that you have unplugged yourself. It is through Jesus things Christ. that you have committed. And we can bless in our lives. Let's plug ourselves back from to the greed of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. He has men and women of God. We shall be fruitful. We shall be protective when we are blessed back. To the, the fire of creed Christ, of the Holy Spirit, ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your Thank you, Lord. Love. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout a big amen? amen. May the Lord cause you to operate in that fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Because the Bible says, Our God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says our Father give us the Holy Spirit when we pray to him. He is not a bad father. He is a good father. And he give us the best. I pray that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and fill you to overflowing with the power of God in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue in this month, the month of resurrection, I want us to pray and ask the Lord this morning to minister to us through the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed at Calvary. Because that blood does great things to us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray this morning as we pray. Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation 12 and verses 10. That they defeated the devil by the blood of Jesus. And by the word of their testimony. Can we read together the Bible says. Then I heard, then I heard a loud voice, voice saying in heaven. heaven. Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ has come. For the accuser of our brethren who accuses before God, day and night has been cast down. And verses 11. Verses 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life to death. They defeated the devil by the blood of Jesus. And I pray this morning that the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary will be meaningful to your life in this month and in this season in Jesus' name. Because there are things that are hidden into our bloodline and the devil is using our bloodline to beat us off out of the will of God. But I pray today in Jesus' name Whatever strangers that are hidden in your body, in your bloodline, I pray. This morning, may they be suffocated, be killed and be flushed off by the blood of Jesus. I want you to declare, my Father, my God. My Father, my in God. The in the name of let Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary, that was shed at Calvary locate every evil. Locate every evil. Locate every stranger, locate every stranger that, is hiding that is hiding in my bloodline, in my, blood in my body. In, my body. In, the in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare this be suffocated now. Be, suffocated be killed now. now. Be killed now. And be flushed out. Be flushed out. In the name of Jesus. Name of Somebody Jesus. lift up your voices Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, that was shed at Calvary. And locate. Let that blood locate every stranger. Locate every evil. That is hidden in your bloodline. That is hidden in your body. Let it be suffocated. Let it be killed. 
Let it be flesh out of your body this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, can I hear somebody pray this morning? Because that the devil, he was defeated by the blood of Jesus. Every devil in the bloodline, every devil that is accusing you, every devil that is standing against you this morning, I command him to be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, that accuse of the brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that Satan in your life, let it be rebuked out of your bloodline, let it be rebuked out of your family, let it be rebuked out of your body, let it be suffocated by the blood, let it be killed by the blood. Let it be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your name this morning. We give you all the glory and the honor. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout a big amen? amen. Can I hear somebody shout a big amen? amen? I want you to declare my father, my God. My father, my in God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I block. I block. Every evil access to my life. Every evil access to my I life. I block. I block. Every evil access every, to my life. Every evil access to my life. I command you, I command be, destroyed you. Now. be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your voices by the blood of Jesus and block every evil access to your life? In the name of Jesus Christ, block every evil access to your life by the blood of Jesus. Block it out of your system. Block it out of your marriage. Block it out of your family. Every evil access to your life. Block it by the blood of Jesus. Block it by the blood of Jesus. Block it by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And lastly, I want you to declare, I cover myself. I cover myself. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I cover myself. I cover myself. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Just lift up your voice. Cover yourself by the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself by the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Just get your morning sacrifice. Come and lay it in the altar. As the praise and worship are coming on the stage, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you and I bless you. As I cover your people in the blood of Jesus, and I say, build the head of fire and the head of the blood of Jesus upon your people. I bless our first, second, and third service, and I bless our dead today, O oh God. And I bless the sacrifice of your people this morning, even as they lay it in the altar. May you bless us today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's put our hands together. Give the Lord a mighty hand up. Let's celebrate the Lord this morning. Celebrate him, celebrate him. Amen, amen. Confess tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know. Oh, he holds my future. In love is what a living just because he lives. Because. Confess tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he owns my future. And life is what I live in. 
So kusema, oh God, I will rewrite the history of my family this year. Eh? I will rewrite the history of my family. Declare, oh God, oh God. in the name of Jesus, 2024-2024. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. This year, this year, I will rewrite, I will rewrite the, 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 the acts of my family. The history of my family, the history of my business, the history of my job, in the name of Jesus. I will rewrite, I will rewrite, I will rewrite my family, I will rewrite the history of my family, I will rewrite in the name of Jesus. I will rewrite. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Tulikuwa tumeangalia asubuhi Psalms 2:8. Na kwa sababu mmeongezeka, si ni mzuri tusome hiyo tena. Psalms 2:8. Psalms 2:8. Ask of me and I will give you nations. Watu wa Mungu. <laughs> Mungu amefanya dunia village. Hii dunia yote ni village. Zamani ilikuwa ngumu kwa sababu zamani ulikuwa unaenda kwa posta unachukua telegram unafanya vitu mingi lakini siku hizi even when you in your bedroom unaongea na mtu wa America mtu ukiwa bedroom yako unaongea na village ya United States ya Australia unaongea na Japan unaongea na mataifa hata mtu aliye wapi dunia hii unaongea tunamuongelesha kwa bedroom yako to make matters worst sasa wamelete AI artificial intelligence ambayo wanataka kuweka kwa simu kwamba kama unaandika history una, unaangalia tu uh, pastor orengo history of the orengos inakupatia ndio tuna tuna nimefungamia are you hearing what i'm saying let's go to nation tembea mataifa mwaka huu mm. kile kinashika kama baba yako hakuenda ngambo si uende ngambo mm. eh hey. Kama kujenga nyumba ya gorofa, jenga nyumba ya gorofa. Amen. Kama kuendesha gari kubwa, endesha gari kubwa. Amen. Sema my father, my father, my father my in the name, the name of Jesus. I break every limitation. I break every limitation over my life. Over my to life. International to international in travel. In the name of Jesus. The name of I declare the blood of Jesus. Lose me now. Lose my life now. Go ahead and pray in a few seconds. Pray. Pray in a few seconds, pray in a few seconds and just tell God, lose me. Lose my life. Lose my life. Lose my life. Lose my life. In Jesus' precious name. Father, we thank you. 
even as we come together to worship, to celebrate, Lord, we are excited that we are in the middle of the month of April. Whatever, Lord, we have not gotten from the beginning, may we get by 15th, by tomorrow. May we receive. Open our eyes, O oh God. Open our hearts, Jehovah, that we shall be able to acquire and to receive that which God we have purpose for our lives. We resist every blockage, every obstacle. We resist sickness and disease. We resist satanic power. We resist gener generational power. We resist every power operating against us. Father, we decree the blood of Jesus to liberate our life. We thank you and we give you honor and glory. Father, take your preeminence in this service. And Lord, speak to our hearts through your word. Let your word become rema. The Lord, this shall be a rema to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a celebration. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare my life, my life will never, never ever, ever be the same again. The same again. My, life my life will never, will never ever, ever be the same again. Same In again. Jesus' name. Jesus. You may be treated. Thank you. Siniombe wale mko nyuma msonge msonge tu karibu tusikae nyuma sana wale mko nyuma huko simkuja karibu iko viti mingi hapa e, wale umezuiliwa na mvua watakuja pole pole amen bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena najua ninatafuta feedback yenu this morning i want us to look on a subject that I prepared called how to seize opportunities. How to seize opportunities. How to seize. Eh? Seize. Seize. Ni seize. 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 Unajua kila mtu alienda shule tafauti. So ulienda, ulienda, kama ulienda queen, queen school, mimi nilienda pengine America school. So tuliko tafauti kidogo kwa matamish. Seize. Uh, or seize opportunities. Unajua ni kusema seize, ni kusema ni una... Uh, or maximize opportunities. I can even say uh, uh, how to maximize opportunities. Opportunities are everywhere. And what God does, let me tell you something. What God does is that when you pray for money, God does not give you Kenya shillings because there are no Kenya shillings in heaven. God will not give you dollars because there are no dollars in heaven. He will not give you pounds because there are no pounds in heaven. But what God will give you is an idea to get that money you need. He will give you an opportunity to get that money you need. He will give you a vision or a dream to get that money you need. So when you ask God for money, he doesn't give you money. He gives you idea. He gives you an opportunity to maximize the opportunity for the money you are looking for. Now in that, in that understanding, opportunities are favorable moments of life. We call them the Kairos and Kronos. When heaven meets with opportunity, when the opportunities come, it is when God uh, moves the earth. We call them the Kronos and the Kairos come together. Ni kama mali mali muangazi na kutana, baraka sinatoka. So opportunities are favor, favorable moments of life. Everyone who has them have blessings when you have opportunities. So you need to pray that God, every opportunity that comes my way, may I maximize that opportunity. May I seize that opportunity. May I take that opportunity. Lord, that it shall not bypass me. So every, everyone has an opportunity of greatness, an opportunity of success, an opportunity to better their lives. So nimesema, Every, every person, kill them too. God will give you an opportunity to, for greatness, to be greater in your career, in your business. In, and number two, success. Everyone has an opportunity for success. You must maximize that success. And better opportunity to better yourself. And to serve God greater capacity. To serve God in greater capacity. To serve God. It's an opportunity. So you need to seize that opportunity. Eh? Kama we ni asha, unamtumikia mungu katika asha ring. Mpaka yu asha ring inajua. Na watu wa mungu tuelewane. Hakuna mwito mungu wa mekuita pasipo na vita. 
Eh? Watu watakupiga vita. Hata ukiwa mhubiri utapigwa vita. Hata ukiwa nani. Kwa hivyo lazima ujue kwamba kila mahali Mungu amekuweka anahitaji resistant, persistent and, and you know and trusting on God. Kwa sababu uh, no every opportunity come with a tag of resistance. Eh? Kila opportunity Uki biashara yako ikpanuka shida zinapanuka. Eh? Ukipatia opposition ya kuwa director shida zinakuwa mingi. Unasema afadhali ningekuwa ka manager, afadhali ningekuwa ka supervisor kwa sababu sasa hii opportunity hai ni mzito. Every every time. So you need to understand higher levels, higher devils. And, and you know but again says moments and move in that moment. Do not be deterred. By the, by, the, by the little positions that come your way. Now, let me quickly go to, uh, to Ephesians 5.15 to through 17. Ephesians 5.15. Ephesians 5.15. And Asema, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as what? As wise. Be careful the way you live. Uh -huh. Making most. If to put New King James, I think that it brings it better than that one. Uh -huh. Redeeming time because the days are evil. What does that tell you? Redeeming time means seizing moments. Yeah? And then verse 17, therefore do not be unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So again redeem time. Redeem moments. Look at the Sisi, tunakuanga every end of the month tunaangalia hii mwezi kabla ijaisha tunaulisana na mama ni nini Mungu ametufa, ametufanyia ni nini Mungu ametufanyia kama hakuna atuwezi malisa mwezi kama hakuna kitu Mungu amefanya we must have a testimony so tunaingia katika maombi we engage God we engage God we engage God until something has happened so every month tukiangalia tunasema mwezi wa January kuna kitu ilifanyika mwezi wa February kuna kitu ilifanyika mwezi wa March na April kuna kitu umefanyika because until you begin to be sensitive of the opportunities that God has put you away, you may not. So Anasema, uh, seize the moment. Go back again, verse 15, verse 16. Verse, anas, no, 15, go to 15. To answer your potena, you are to have, um, Anasema, see that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So you need to walk as a, walk as a person that is wise. To look at what God is doing in your life. What is God doing in your life? What is God saying about the month of April? Uitaji hata kuambiwa. Unaitaji kuwa umeuliza mungu. Hii mwezi wa April ni nini naendelea? If nothing is happening, then engage God in prayer. Engage God in prayer. Aha, uh -huh. go to 16. Anasema, redeeming time. You must redeem time. Uh, because the days are evil. Verse 17. And I say, therefore, do not be unwise, but understand moments. Understand what the will of the Lord is. What is the will of, of God upon you for, 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 for April? What is the will of God? So you need to get that in prayer. In Colossians 4, 5, Colossians, let's go to Colossians 4, 5. Be wise. Colossians 4, 5. And I say, walk in, the, give us from NIV now. Go to NIV. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Make the most. You know, you seize the opportunities. Be wise the way you act to outsiders. Outsiders are people that are outside your, your bracket or your scope of operation. When there are people that are outside, when they come to your life, you must not dismiss them because many people, we dismiss others because we either uh, say that they are higher than us, we are not at their level, or we do not take uh, their advice. Let me tell you, God says he can send angels to you without knowing. And that is in Hebrews, Hebrews 13, I think 4. Hebrews 13, 4. God can send angels. So you must not dis dismiss people. Don't dismiss people. Hmm? Don't dismiss people because... Uh, when they come, you say, "Awa ni watu wa Jew, sisi ni watu wa chini." Akuna chamutu wa chini. We unenda Jew. Na ukijua unenda Jew, hutishu na mutu aliye Jew. 
eh unamwambia si unishike mkono nipeleke juu so utishiki na mtu wako juu unasonga na ye juu kwa sababu hapo ndio unaelekea bwana asiwe sana so anasema go back to the scripture be wise the, in the way you act towards outsiders make every opportunity that they bring your way mtu akikuonesha opportunity ya business ingia ndani akikuonesha opportunity yote maximize that moment for six go to verse six anasema let your conversation be always full of grace seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone nikusema ondoa hasira ondoa makasiriko zungumza na watu vizuri kwa sababu uwezi kujua nani ametumwa na Mungu kukusaidia and when god gives you an opportunity he does not bring a smooth way sometimes you've got to crash anasema there is no peace hakuna hakuna amani ila kwa ncha ya kupanga mwe kusikia kitu kama hiyo eh amani huja kwa njia nini eh ni kusema there will be resistance but in every resistance there is an opportunity can i tell you something when there is sicknesses like for, for example we had covid when we had covid 19 Now it was a big disaster to the nation but did we have millionaires of covid yeah they took a moment they says people 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 you know uh, excel, were accelerated people were lifted people were blessed any time there is a disaster there is opportunity every time there is uh, there is peace there is opportunity so every corner god has made that opportunities opportunities do not come when things are good opportunities come when things are not good. Eh? Kama unangoja ati ati unangoja siku ile Kenya itakuwa na amani mingi. Ah, ati sasa ah. Wewe anza saa hii kujua opportunities ni wakati wako wa kutafuta opportunities and maximize them. Are you with me? Now, number two, opportunities is defined as a combination of circumstances favorable for the purpose opportunity is defined as a combination of circumstances favorable for a purpose to seize the opportunity means to take possession of sudden and by force sudden and by force so when opportunities come or the word says opportunities that you must take them by force you must seize moment take moments huh? Seize moment, take moments by force, attack the moments and strike the moment and you will see the victory of God. Mungu hata wai kukupatia opportunity raisi. Mungu atakupatia opportunity iliyo kama kwa mfano, if you want to get gold, utakuta nyoka hapo. Analinda hiyo gold, mtapigana mpaka uwe hiyo nyoka. Ukikuta kuna kuna kitu mzuri, unakuta kuna kitu inazuia watu. Unajua samani kulikuwa na, na story ya Mercury Kenya. Mercury kila mtu alikuwa anauza Mercury. Na Mercury zilikuwa zinatoka Mount Elgon, inatoka Cherengani huko. So siku moja nikaambia mama, sasa tue, kuna mali kijana mwingine kijana mwingine mpokote aliniambia iko Mercury hapa ndani. Kwa shamba nilikuwa ndani nilikuwa na shamba. Ali, kuna Mercury huko ndani. Mali kuna giza. So siku moja akaniambia na mchana hutaenda maana kuna nyoka kubwa sana. Twende jioni. Hiyo nyoka inatoanga kitu kama taa na ikiwaka inaona inamulika so tukaenda so tulipoenda pale tu, tukaangalia nikamwambia hapa ni hatari sana hata nasikia mwili yangu hapa ni hatari akaniambia usijali sisi tutatafuta bunduki tutaenda kwa askari tulete bunduki alafu tuingie lakini hiyo hiyo taa haichukuli hivi hivi mpaka hiyo nyoka iwawe so wakaenda wakaongea na wajamaa wakakuja na na bunduki wakasema sasa wesi ingia na nguo lazima utoe nguo upa, upake samadi ya ngombe upakwe samadi ya ngombe kila mali ili asisikie harufu yako he nikamwambia mtu wangu sasa wewe mimi nitangoja makuri wewe enda tafuta makuri so walipoenda walikuwa na walikuwa jamaa karibu tano na ni wajamaa wakali <laughs> wakaingia ile nyoka ilipowasikia ikaanza kupiga na ikameza ile kitu yake walitoroka So nikagundua in every treasure in every, in every place that is a treasure there is an opposition. Yeah? Every place is a 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Tumeja, tumejaribu kuusa tukutafuta mercury. Eh. So unaangalia sasa unasema says moment na tulisema we will say every moment. Now in Luke 1941, Luke 1941, Luke 1941. Twende haraka. Anasema as he approached Jerusalem and saw the city he wept over it. Uh -huh. keep moving. And he said if even you had only known on this day what will bring you peace but now it is hidden from your from your eyes the day will come upon you when enemies will build an embankment against you and then suckle you hell uh, harm you in every side now one thing that jesus was talking about is that when he came to jerusalem riding on a donkey he, he looked at jerusalem and he cried he said jerusalem jerusalem i wish you knew the moment of your visitation i wish you understood that where god has positioned you that today the enemies will encamp around you and harm you and destroy you many times people do not understand the calling in their lives when god calls you it attracts a lot of opposition it attracts negativity it attracts criticism it attracts all kinds of things until you come to a place that you do not even know whether it is God calling you or you drop it and go back. So the enemy will want to discourage you so that you do not go forward. You give up and when you give up, he kills you. You will never give up. Tell your neighbor for me, neighbor, never give up. Never give up. We must still, if it is crawling, I will crawl. If it is running, I will run. If it is walking, I will walk. I will never give up. Because the enemy would want to kill you. So Jesus looked at Jerusalem and he cried. He said, Jerusalem, I wish you knew the visit. Even most of us, you do not know the moments. At a lot of Nawambia, my, the year of, of crashing or uh, breaking or destroying mountains, bad on Aulisa, he mountains migani. Now when you unajua una mountains, Eh, unafaa ku crash eh, limitation you need to break the mountains you need to take these opportunities and seize moment now the other thing is even when when an opportunity come there are many opportunities even at the church for example giving offering is an opportunity for your blessing wengine mnaangalia offering mnadharau mnaangalia offering bado una unanyeta kutoa offering i'm telling you you remain stagnated offerings open new doors every week offering open opportunities every week your tithe is key for your development god says try me in this and i will open the floodgate give us uh, malachi malachi uh, 3 verses 10 malachi 3 10 and i said bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room for it. I will try me. Anyone who does not tithe has no future. Can I say that again? Anyone who does not tithe has no future. Even if you are listening to those people that are saying you don't tithe in the New Testament church, the New Testament church, we are beyond 10%. We can give God 100%, 90%, 50%. Why? We know who we are. We are not operating under the law. The law of the Old Testament, had the, they were given the laws and they were told by the law of 10%, give God 10%. But in the New Testament, People sold land. In the book of Acts chapter 2, people sold their land and took their money to the apostle feet. They sold their cars, their houses, and took 100%. We are beyond the 10% in our generation. Now we, we, because we love God, we want, to, we want to appreciate him and bless him and give him what he has given us. I'm telling you, ukipata pesa, mtu wakonza unakumbuka ni mungu. Unambia mungu umendibariki. Umendibariki. Kwa hivu mungu kwa hii, ata mimi na, natuwa fungu langu la kumi. Now look at verses 11. Go to verses 11 and 12. Read verse 11. Uh, Anasema, I will prevent the pests from devouring your crops. And the vine of your field will not cast their fruit, says the Lord. Uh -huh. Verses 12. 
and then all the nations will call you blessed for you are for yours will be a delightful land says the lord almighty so one thing god will prevent the loss of your money moja nikwambie kwa sababu watu wengi wanaibiwa unaibiwa kwa sababu wewe ni mwizi utuangi fungu la 10 lazima uibiwe eh mimi nakumbuka kisa moja nilienda tulienda makaburini huko chini sijui naitwa nini um, Nairobi kutengeneza gari so nika nikapeleka makanika huyu ndio mzuri sana nilikuwa nimeelezewa na nikakutana naye akaniambia sasa lete pesa nitume mtu aenda alete spare nikapea 10000 na jamaa akaenda so nikamuuliza hii ni hii ni one hour na nipikipiki tu hapa Nairobi na kuleta spare hapa tu hapa chini so akaniambia ngoja tu jamaa mwingine akaniambia hata simu ya huyu mtu amuna anazasama nayo <laughs> nikaambia mama sasa inazamaji so hiyo jamaa kan discourage so nika nikaambia nika mama tu, tukaingia kwa gari tukaomba nikaambia Mungu I'm a tither and by the virtue of tithing God you'll prevent the devourer from devouring this and Lord I command that man to come quickly hata kabla tujamaliza kuomba jamaa ndio huyu na pikipiki nikasema haleluya ilikuwa imetutia baridi so wakati mwingine unakuta kwamba watu wanaibiwa una, ukipata pesa shughuli inatokea ambayo ilikuwa hakuna unapigiwa simu oh mama ni mgonjwa nyumbani oh tuma pesa haraka tuma pesa ni kama walijua kuna pesa imeingia kwa mpesa yako kuna pesa imeingia kwa account yako Una, unakuta wasa ingine, mtoto wako ana, anakuja nyumbani ana homa anakuambia i'm very sick unaenda kwa daktari hiyo pesa inaliwa the devourer god says i will prevent the devourer from devouring your land your crop from your life he will prevent so tithing is a is a master key for protection and for competition ask your neighbor when did you last tithe eh muuliza tu mtu muuliza when did you last tithe najua wengine muko mbali mbali acha niwaulize wale muko mbali mbali kama wale wa dada zetu when did you last tithe kwa sababu if you don't give your tithe then the blessings of verses 12 go to verse 12 let's look at the blessing uh, and asema then all the nations unajua nation there ni ethnos it means tribes all the tribes of kenya will call you blessed for yours will be the delightful land says the lord almighty so what watakubariki watu watasema eh fulani amebarikiwa oh fulani amebarikiwa kwa sababu wewe umetii amri ya mungu you have says moment let me tell you opportunities like if we if the ladies want uh need support we support them if we want support for the men we support them the support for sunday school support for uh youth and support for the poor support for the sick support for if we support them then god will reward us there is no one who gives his money or wealth or resources in the name of the lord or for the sake of the gospel who shall remain the same God will remember your sacrifices he will remember your offering he will remember your giving it is very important that you don't eat every if you eat the seed then you will have nothing to plant eh ukikula mbegu hakuna kitu utapanda and i will tell you that with a lot of authority because i have practiced the same i practice the same you cannot eat your seed you must give your seed to the lord and god will open doors for your life are you with me number three, why do you suppose it is important for you to take possession of it suddenly now the reason because opportunities do not wait around for a long time or wait around for faint hearted opportunities need people that are strong and who are able to risk opportunities need people who can risk let me tell you everything we do in life is risk going to nairobi is a risk getting a job is a risk doing your business is a risk everything we do in life is risking and therefore the more we risk the better the blessing but the, the but but the way we are careful that we don't lose it they lead to the blessing so again we must seize moments seize opportunities are being presented to us daily on a daily basis we must seize every moment that god brings my way for example 
in the woman with the issue of blood. Let's look at that story in um, Mark 5.25. Mark 5.25 is a very good example of seizing moments. And the woman who was there, who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, <laughs> keep moving, she had suffered a great deal of under care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she had, when she had about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. When she had that Jesus is able to heal her, is more than the doctors that have eaten all her money, she says the moment. And she came in when men were surrounding Jesus, she came and sneaked in and touched the hem of his garment. And the moment he touched the hem of his garment, her bleeding stopped. Uh -huh. Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she fell in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Serving God is an opportunity. Wengine mumeka kwa hii kanisa, miaka tano, miaka kumi, uja hii kuata asha, uja kuata security, uja kuata, ata uja bebea pasa biblia. Ata kubebea pasa wako biblia na kuambukiza hii anointing. Inambukiza nangwa. So unaanza kukaa pale nyumo na lalamika, oh, kwa nini mama fulani ndi amekua kiongozi na mimi nimekava hii kanisa miaka mingi. Do something, do something unusual. Do something unusual. Oh, kwa nini fulani tu watu tunji wana, wanatambulikana give until you are known give your way out hakuna mtu atai kukujua until god sees you he will locate you but if you do not seize the, the moments then you will remain ordinary seize moments and declare i will serve god in this church until i go to the top it's an opportunity so opportunities are everywhere serving god coming for prayer coming for men meeting, coming for ladies meeting, coming, coming to attend meeting, sweeping the church, even sweeping the church is an opportunity for your blessing. So opportunity ziko. Lakini wu unangangana wu, mimi ni stay sifanya, stay sikuwa na kufagia kanisa, I'm above that. You'll remain struggling the rest of your life. Ukiena nyumbani kwenu, baba yako wakuambie fagia i compound. Utamambia mimi baba, mimi ni manager wa bank. Ama mini manager Nairobi siyesi kuja kufagia kumbao ni yako ya matope. Uwezi muambia hivo. Unachukua kifagio, unafagia. Hata kama ni manager. Baba yako mekuambia fagia. Na kikuja na ulisa kwa nini uja fagia. Mutakosana. So kwa void kukosana, unafagia vizuri na unafanya extra. Akikuja fry. Akuambia basi. Kejanangu ya blessed. Lakini bila hiyo, utangangana. Ndiyo unona watu wengi wanangangana katika makanisa. Wamekaa mpaka wameoza. Na hili information wako nayo, shetani ya napitisha hapa, inatokea pande hii. Kwa sabu we mwenye ufa, ufa, ufanyishi kazi. I pray that you can say this moment. Now, this, uh, the other man, Mark 10 to 46, Mark 10 to 46, let's, let's quickly go through that and, and look at some of this. Mark 10 to 46. Anasema, then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city. A blind man, but Timaeus, that is the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When the one he had, that's a way, way, ni ulise, oh, umesikia nini? Tangu januari, umesikia nini? Amboi mekukoroga mpako kabadilika. Uyu, but Timaeus, alisikia tu, he heard that Jesus was passing by. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebukes. Ha, angalia sasa. Yeah, mesema to Jesus, son of God, come for me. Jesus, anaitana to Jesus. Yeah, kuwa naita mutu mungine. Look at many rebukes. Many rebuked him and told him, shut up, be quiet. But he shouted all more. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, Jesus. Sasa ni kusema, ukichukua opportunities, utakemewa na watu. Watakombia, shut up. Watakombia, shut up. But, but Myers never, uh, uh, he never heard these guys. Anasema shaurienu. Munajua mali niko, 
najua shida zangu nimekuwa nikibegi nyinyi nyi pesa sibegi tena an opportunity has shown itself i must seize the moment he took that moment and jesus turned and said bring him akakaletwa akaombewa akaona batimaya saliona na kutoka siku hiyo akakuwa mwanafunzi wa Yesu na je wewe umekaa kanisani miaka yote unataka kufanyia Mungu let me tell you ladies and gentlemen one day you will go to heaven and you will might you will find Christ na Yesu atakuuliza umenifanyia nini hiyo miaka yote deliverance touch kitengela umenifanyia nini revelation 22 verse 15 Ninamaliza hapo. Revelation 22. Anasema 15. Outside are dogs. Begin from 12. Begin from 12. Behold, I'm coming soon. My reward is with me and I will give to everyone according to what they have done. Behold, reward is with me and I'm coming soon to reward everyone according to the work they have done. Hakuna kazi ya Mungu ni smooth. Unjani niwaambie ukweli, hakuna kazi ya Mungu ni smooth. Ati unaambia watu wao kujeni hapa, tufanye what was people will resist because naturally people do not do the right things, they do wrong things naturally. So they will oppose you. It is a wonder for somebody to do the right thing. Hmm? <laughs> Ativo, watu wafanyaki vitu mzuri wanafanyaga mambo mabaya kwa uraisi na bila kungangana lakini mambo mazuri hawafanyi so unakuta ukiwa mkiongozi utapingwa watu watakupinga hata ukienda kufungua kanisa unapingwa hata ukihubiri neno unapingwa lakini tunasema bipe sisa kama Batimaya Batimaya alisema hata mkiniambia shut up si shut up anasema na sauti kubwa Jesus son of David Jesus ana shout mpaka watu wakanyamaza wakasema wacheni huyu mwanda wazimu afanye vitu zake Yesu akasema mleteni. Ameona tu shida za huyu Batimayas. Akasema mleteni Batimayas hapa. Hata wewe wakati unasema God I persistently receive that grace. I will seize moment for my life. Utapingwa. Lakini unasema sawa sawa hata nikipingwa mimi najua kile natafuta. Si fame, sitafuti kujulikana, natafuta Yesu. Kumtumikia Bwana katika kazi ya kanisa, katika mambo ya Mungu. Hapo ndio tumefail. Maana unataka we kuja kanisani tukulipe tukikulipa pesa ni kidogo sana tutakupatia lakini Mungu akikulipa atakulipa zaidi ya kanisa mara kumi. Ten times ndio unaona watu wa zamani walimtumikianga Mungu pasipo pesa lakini pesa Mungu anawalete Mungu anaambia fulani uza shamba yako lete pesa kanisani so kinapita wali distribute katika Acts chapter 242 wali distribute pesa na wakala vizuri kwa sababu Mungu ali provide wewe ukitumikia Mungu atakupatia deal ambao utakumbuka maisha yako yote by serving god doors will open opportunities will open i pray by your service by your giving by your honoring god all the blessings in heaven shall locate your life stand on your feet as we pray and declare with me oh god in the name of jesus as i serve you in this church i pray that opportunities shall seize my i will uh, opportunity shall come my way I pray that opportunities shall come my way. I shall seize moments in the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and pray? Pray and ask God deeper shakata in a few seconds. Just tell God thank you for giving me an opportunity to be in this church. An opportunity to serve God in this church. An opportunity to stand in this church. An opportunity to glory glorify God in this church. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you and we give you praise. Lord Almighty, reign over us. Reign over us. Reign over us. Reketaka shakatalaba. Rekeleke yabaka. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to declare as I, as I give my time and my offering, I declare in this season, I shall not miss my blessing, my opportunity, my miracle 
In Jesus' name. For a second, can you declare as you give, as you pay your tithe and give your offering. In this month, in this season, you shall not miss your blessing. You shall not miss your prosperity. You shall not miss your success. You shall not miss opportunities. You shall not miss that contract. You shall not miss that blessing. You shall not miss that increment. You shall not miss that promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our heavenly Father in Jesus' name. We thank you for your word that has come to us in a mighty way and powerful way, oh God. Help us to rise up, King of glory, in this year fresh in mountains, oh God, and begin to seize opportunities that you are bringing on our way in the mighty name of Jesus. May our inner eyes be open to see, even in the spiritual world, even in the areas, my Father, that are hidden, that the treasures that are hidden in secret places shall be open for us in the name of Jesus. And as we venture into those new heights, I pray that you shall bless us. Press down, shaken together and running over. Shall be our portion in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us as we give this morning. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It's our giving time. Can you put our hands together? Let's give the Lord a mighty hand clap this morning. Amen, amen. Can you appreciate our bishop for that word that he has brought to us in a mighty way? Amen, amen. I'd like us to sit down as we prepare ourselves to give us a praise and worship are coming on the stage. Wherever you are seated, there are baskets of offering and our ashes are standing beside them ready to serve us with the envelopes that we need. And, uh, and as we give, may the Lord bless you. If you have come with your tithe this morning, Come and put it in this basket and the Lord will bless you. If this message has blessed you, just connect with this altar and the Lord will bless you this morning. Amen. We are using our embassy to pay your tithe and your offering. Our team number is on your screen, 9071795. We also have our equity payment numbers and the National Bank baby numbers are there and may the Lord bless you. If you are writing a check you write in the name of Deliverance Church Kitengela. Let's give to the Lord joyful this morning as a praise and worship give us a number. Karibu sana.
appreciate our great and Amen, amen. Let's stretch our hands in front as I dedicate this offering. And to the Almighty and everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful this morning. My Father, for the giving of your people, oh God, because you are the one who gives us the power and the ability to produce wealth and to make profit. And today, your people have honored you with their tithes, with their offering, their giving. And all the giving that has been given this morning, I dedicate it unto you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I declare your blessings, oh God, over the lives of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you open the floodgates of heaven. And may you pour out such a blessing upon the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. As you extend their tents and their territory. As you cause increase and profit and interest to locate your people. Even in this new season, in the name of Jesus Christ. That whatever your people lays their hands to do. In their businesses, in their companies, in their farms. In their fields, in their places of work, oh God, let there be multiplication of blessings uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, promotions, uh, interest to locate your people, new business ventures to locate your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, that your people will continue to prosper until they become prosperous to the glory and honor of your name in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, may you rebuke the devourer that devour the work of your people, the health and the wealth of your your people. I declare by the giving of your people today, the devourer is defeated in Jesus' name and I declare your people blessed. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all of us can we shout a big amen. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand clap this morning. Amen, amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you so much. Let's appreciate our pastors and our leaders. Let's appreciate our pastors for the work they are doing. Thank you. May the Lord Bless you so much. Karibuni sana kwa matangazo ya siku ya leo. Today is Men Development Day. And as uh, we wait for the leaders to settle up and the pastors, I would like us to receive our announcements over to the media team. Please give us the announcement today in Jesus' name. Welcome, cherished friends and faithful congregants. Whether you're seated in our sanctuary or tuning in online, your presence today fills us with joy and gratitude. If you're new in our community, we celebrate you as a cherished addition. To our esteemed visitors, we extend our heartful welcome that stretches beyond these walls. Now, prepare to be captivated as we unveil a lineup of events from transformative ministries to uplifting discussions. Stay tuned. The last two weeks has been filled with testimony from one glory to another. Both ladies and men went for the encounter. We all had an amazing experience of what the Lord has done for us. This is a call for us to join and be part of the Father's Vision program. Thank you for your ongoing support towards Doxa TV. We are striving to bring back our mainstream media to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our partners group is growing and active. Join us to ensure that Doxa TV thrives. And for information, kindly see the numbers on how best to become an active partner. From the Kingdom Generation, we would like to thank all parents who brought their children to the VBS. It was a great opportunity for them where they got to learn so many things. And guess what? There are some of them who even got saved. And we'd like to thank all the parents who allow their children due to the challenges of rains. You still brought your children and they got to learn something. May God bless you abundantly. Well, today is our Men's Development Day. Are we excited? Yes, we are. We urge all of you to come forth and support the men in this important day. We hope you had a great time and you enjoyed our services as men. We hope to see you next time on our next Development Day. Thank you so much and God bless you. Our nuts and balls are scheduled to be on 1st June 2024. Kindly, if you wish to join us, you can see Pastor Susan or any of your respective leaders. Remember, don't miss out because it will be on a holiday. Now, the name is the elegant dinner. Yes, dress elegantly and come to this dinner. I'm speaking about the 19th of April main event dinner, which will be happening here at Deliverance Church, Kitengela Youth. Sanctuary. Now we have prepared so many things for you in store that you cannot afford to miss. Remember, the charges are 1500 for the singles, 
2,000 for the couples. This dinner is meant to the fundraising of the Grand East African Youth Conference. Speaking of the Grand East African Youth Conference, it will be happening here at church from 23rd to 26th of this same month, that is the month of April. Remember, we'll be having great speakers from Pastor George Masharia from City Lighters. We'll be having Pastor Kapanga from Airview. We'll be having Pastor Hassan Sankale ministering. We'll be having Pastor Roland Omoto. And now, we'll also be having Reverend Dan Gishana in store. Now, you cannot afford to miss. It doesn't matter if you are a lot your age is is much higher or rather you are too young you are all invited to this grand east african youth conference see you there from 23rd to 26th to all our parents exciting news from our little ones kingdom generation sunday school is hosting a vocational bible studies from 8th to 12th of this month for only 300 shillings your child will get to engage in enriching lessons fun activities and spiritual growth there is more on 27th of this march we are having an awesome trip that day will be filled with laughter and unforgettable memories do not let your child miss out this opportunity to learn grow and have fun in a nurturing environment. Attention all parents, a special moment awaits as we prepare for children dedication right here in the church. We urge all parents with children for dedication to register your names along with your children's names. You can do so through Pastor Susan or your respective leaders of zonal and cell groups. Child dedication is a significant milestone to the family and the church community. It is time to dedicate our children to the Lord and seek his blessings and guidance upon their lives. Let's take this opportunity as a community and become a part of this important occasion. Register your child today. Amen. Let's appreciate our media team. Let's appreciate our media team. Thank you so much for that announcement. Just uh, to add our... Uh, our uh, Post encounter will be on the 27th of the month of April. So for men and women who went for the encounter, please remember we are meeting here on the 27th of April and we'll be able to keep time. Please come and don't be late. I may the Lord bless you. We are registering for the Father's Vision. That is uh, uh, the nuts and bolts will be on the 1st of June. If you have not registered, please make sure you register with our pastor, Pastor Susan and Pastor Karaoke and Marcy, so that we can be able to include you on the class. And remember that all our leaders, it is a must. It is a must for you to be able to register for this program. And uh, we are waiting for you to register so that on the month of September, we'll be taking you for the encounter. We have a meeting that is coming here in Deliverance Church, Kitengela, on the 17th and, uh, and the 18th of the month of May. We have a visitor from Cameroon, uh, Dr. Paul. We like each and every one of us to register. We'll be bringing the forms for you. So we'll be bringing them to your, to, your, to your cells and your zone and also to your department for you to register. It is a two days meeting, Friday and Saturday, whole day. So please, when the form comes to you, please register. If you can take a leave or an off, do so, so that we can be able to be fed from the table of the Lord through this servant of God is coming from Cameroon. Please don't miss this opportunity and deliverance child Kitengela. Remember, we have invited quite a, quite a lot of people and we are expecting for you. Men trip to Tanzania. Please men register for that trip. And we are asking, please remember to carry us your wives as you go to Tanzania. Simseme amen wadada. Tuko na wiki hii ya kuanzia kesho, tuko na program ya teens, tunashukuru wazazi kwa kutupatia watoto wa King John, King Kingdom Generation. Kuanzia kesho tuko na teenagers ambao wana program inaitwa Tubonge. We can be able to know from those words this is not an easy team that needs to be ministered, to be reached out, and we want you parents to release them from tomorrow to be here in the morning. Charges are only 500 shillings that will be able to take, to, to take care of the entire week from 15 to 20. So we are expecting you parents to release them, and the Lord will bless you. In Apo Malizia, nitamalizia kwa mambo ya dinner, lakini kwa sasa, ningependa tuingie katika hiyo men's development day. And uh, for the matter of time, sinu wafanyie tu. Ama, amen, by default, katika hiyo kiwango. Sasa mina ataka, munilete pesa. Anataka tuanze na bishop wetu. Akiwa ndiyo number one katika program here. Men, 
He's doing a lot of great things. Simulate your kick up. Na wadada nataka mshike pesa kwa mkono mkuje. Menu aliwa support wakati wa DOF. Mtakuaje wagumu. 5000 kutoka kwa bishop na msindikisa na 1000. Amen. Daktari Orengo. Kuna announcement. Daktari amesindikisha na 1000. Aya, na sindikishwa na 1000. Kuna pesa ninaona na letoa pesa mzuri. Ini ya kusindikisha bishop. So, kileto uniambie kama ni kusindikisha ama utaleta yako officially. Ake. Okay. Ameniambia mchungaji wetu. We, wasike sa... Uh, me, situ muappreciate pastor wetu. Asante. Nangoja kingdom generation na lete yake. Kisindikisha men. Muko wapi? Hey, praise and worship. Kwani muko kwa men ama muko wapi? Eh, hey, na nasikia kuna namba. Kuna till namba ambayo yu pesa zinawekwa. Tafadhali ni usiambio kuna till namba na hakuna kitu mtu anafanya. Umeka hapo. Asante mwalimu. Situ appreciate mwalimu wetu wa Kingdom Generation 1000. Namba till number ni 8280836. Yon diyo namba. Kama unaweka pesa kwa till, ukimaliza andika karatasi letter ili tuweze kuweka hii record. Sina mangoja. Former chair lady. Hai, kuja support a man. Kumbuka vile wali to support kwa DOF kabisa. Kwa haraka, wadada, si mkuja to support. Haya, nileteni zo pesa, nileteni. Kama wanaingia kwa simu, ingia kwa simu. Amen. Nona ndugu yangu yuko kule. Nakuona tu. Bade encounter, nona mungu wa metenda mambu makubwa. Simulete hizi pesa.